going to do the integration of cos x degree. So let's see the answer. So first here writing the given cos x degree and here dx. So we cannot do the directly integration of cos x degree. So first x degree that we need to convert into the radian. So here x degree so we need to convert into the radian so we can multiply here 180 by pi and after that here you need to write x. So now here we can write cos in place of x degree we can write 180 by pi into x. So this is the terms we have. Now the next is integration of cos x dx that is equal to here we can write my here plus sin x and see. Now the next is you can directly do that but here now I am going to assume z equal to 180 and here pi x. Now if I do the differentiation then here we can write dz by dx and 180 by pi is the constant write that and x or uh, here differentiation that is equal to 1. So now here we can write dz equal to 180 by pi into dx and here dx is there. After that dx place we need to uh, put so ds plex we can write here pi by 180 into dz. So doing the cross multiplication after that dx place we can put this one. So now here writing so first is or uh, this that I all assume z. So this is now cos z. Then after dx that we can write pi by 180 into dz. After or uh, doing this pi by 180 that is constants right here. And the next is cos z dz. So cos z integration is sin z. So pi by 180 and this we can write sin z plus c. C is the arbitrary constant. Now we need to put the value of z. So z equal to 180 pi. So here now we can write pi by 180 and this is now sin z value is now sin 180 pi pi and here x plus c. So this is the answer of this question. So z plus 180 by pi into x. Okay so this is the way we can do the integration. So one time I'm going to repeat this all. First x degree need to convert into the radian then cos x integration that is equal to sin x and here assume z equal to or uh, this all then dz by dx equal to 180 by pi dx we need to get that dx equal to this one and then after put the values so cos z pi by 180 this is the constant that right there and cos z integration that is equal to sin z and put the value of z then you can get this one so this is the way we can do the integration so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see next video and there is a one important thing 180 by pi x okay 180 by pi x so if you want then you can write here 180 by pi x this here we can write pi by 180 and this you can write here sin x degree so this also is the answer so 180 by pi x that is equal to x degree so so this is the way we can do the integration. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.